Hey, it's Mr. Herman. I'm back again with another video. This time we're going to be talking about the volumes of triangular prisms. These are a little bit more challenging because they're not quite the same. You have to identify the base like we did before with the rectangular prisms, but uh, the base is going to be a triangle. It's very important to recognize they're called triangular prisms because they have a triangular base. And the base is the part that is congruent and parallel. So the triangular base is across each other like a mirror image almost, and it's congruent and it's uh, right across from each other with the perpendicular distance. So let's take the form of this one is the same, thankfully. Formula equals base area times height. Let's identify the base. It's always a triangle, so I'm going to say it's this triangle, but really it's both these triangles. I'm just going to pick this one as, a, as one to use. So that's the base area. So I'm going to have to find the base area of that. So if we break this down, it's kind of like one-half the base times the height, like this. This base area is no longer just base times height. It was two things yesterday. <clears throat> now it's going to be half base times height because it's a triangle, and a triangle's area is half base times height. Then this height right here is this height here. That's the distance between the two bases. So let's start with this. A half as it goes right in there. It's easily. Now the base and height of the triangle. Well, this is the height. It's 7. See, it's that 7, the same there. The base is 13. It doesn't really matter which order you do this in, of course. And then the height of the prism is the distance between the bases. That's the 21. And notice again, it's at a right angle. That's a lot to multiply out, so let's just grab our calculator real quick and throw it in there. Let's see what we get for this. I don't know if I can fit it. I can't quite fit it in. Let me move it up maybe a little bit. How about that? I think it just barely gets it in. Okay, so we got a half times 7 times 13 times 21. 955.5. So the volume is 955.5 centimeters. And again, we are multiplying three things together. Don't be fooled by the half. It's part of the normal formula. It's this, one, two, three. This is a, a scalable thing that changes. It's the same for all of them. So that's going to be centimeters cubed again. We're multiplying three dimensions. We got the height, the base, and the height of the prism. That's our three dimensions. There's our first one. Let's go ahead and try another one now. Our base looks like it's sitting on the triangle again. So the bottom is the triangle. Kind of lightly shade that in. There's our base. Get our formula in there. Base area times height. I'm going to put in the one half the base times the height again because that's my triangular base right there. So let's start filling things in. Let's see what we got here. Half. The base uh, of, well, this is a right angle right here, isn't it, right there? Which means this is perpendicular. So this is the base and height hitting right there, meeting, intersecting right there. So that's the base and height of the, of the uh, triangle. So it's going to be 5 times 12. And then the height of the prism is 8. So 5 times 12 is 60. Times half of 8 is 4. That's 240. Let's just double check the math there. Again, I don't want to make a mistake while on the video here. Let's throw it in and make sure it's right. 0. 0.5 times 5 times 12 times 8. 240. Awesome. So we got a volume of 240 meters cubed. I'll see this last one now. This last one's a little bit different because this one's not sitting on the triangular base. But that does not mean the triangle's not the base. It still is. So the triangular base is right here. You can use that one too. It doesn't matter. You can see that this height is set 1.75. And 1.75 is also here, which means that this is a very strange type of uh, triangle here. But it's okay. It looks like an isosceles triangle to me. So we're going to go with the volume equals base area times height. And again, you can pause this video at any time if I'm going too fast. Times height. Right in here is our... Kind of our base and height there. And then we're going to say the volume equals. Let's see half the triangle. So 1.75, 1.75. So 1 half times 1.75 times 1.75. And then the distance between the bases, unless it's at a right angle right here, is 2.5. That's a tough one to do in your head, so I'm going to go ahead and type that one all out too. Let's move it up a little bit so we can get the calculator in there. There we go. So we get 0. 0.5. It's a half times 1.75. I could just do squared there because there's two of them, right? So squared. 
times 2.5. That's a big number, lots of decimals there. So let's just go ahead and put in there, uh, let's go to the nearest tenth. So 3.8 would be the volume for that one. 3.8 meters cubed is the volume for that one. Well, thanks for watching. Let me know if you've got any questions. Make sure you turn a picture in when you turn your work in. And uh, tomorrow we're going to work on volumes of pyramids. Have a good day. Bye-bye.